So this is the transmission. It transmits to the chain through here and the clutch packs. This is the housing, the bell housing for the clutch. Here's the problem. Watch the top edge of this. You see it wobbling? Wait. If you watch this edge over here, like here, you see it going up and down. It's quite. And it's also wobbling um, straight on too. You can see the side to side play if you watch this gap. Can't keep it still enough. There. You don't see it when it's going fast, but when it's slow. Anyway. So this this has got to come off. I think that sh that shaft, that short jack shaft or whatever it's called, that's bent maybe. But um, I need to get this case off. I tried to take these Phillips screws out. With the impact, it's just... Uh, it's just uh, coming out from the screws, the Phillips screws. But um, we have a method for that. Air hammer with a screwdriver bit and a lever. And all you got to do get it in there. Put pressure on it to one screw. Got it, it moved. There's one. That one's loose. This one is still tight. I got all of them. Now I can get in there with this. Screws are still coming out, even though they're loose. So then I need to get this uh, cover off. I don't, doesn't want to come off easy neither. Oh, come on, get out of there. Case doesn't want to separate. We may have to go to a commercial break. Yeah, it doesn't want to... I don't like letting go. It will. Oh yes, it will. I may have to leave it at the same time at both ends. So I'll stick something in there. Well, I leave her at this end. I don't want to let go. Too bad. It's off now. Just a housing with the grease. There was a bearing in there for that short jack shaft. And then it's a chain drive.
that's a uh, a spring washer to preload it I suppose stop it from bouncing in and out it's uh okay well I'm gonna end the video here right now I'm gonna have to carefully take this apart make sure I don't lose any widgets and washers <laughs>